Hey, this is Matt Winning at winningstrength.com, and today we're going to talk about adaptation, and that really should be all of our goals. How do we adapt to training or grow from our training? Well, today I'm going to go over some big points that you probably have missed out on, at least one or all, that are impeding your ability to get better. So let's take a look. Now, there are four factors that we must consider when we're talking about adaptation to training. Can you guys name them? Well, the real answer is, is that I even had to look these up in order to figure out which ones these were, even though I had a great instinct on what those things may be. So I'm going to show you guys, and then you guys can learn, am I, am I applying these correctly? Am I utilizing this correctly? Okay, so the first one that we can all understand or we probably mostly think of is magnitude or overload. Now what this states is that if you want the body to change, it needs to be put into an environment that it's never seen before. Now that could be a lot of different things. We could increase sets, right? We could increase reps. We could reduce rest, right? These things are massive in changing the overload property, right? If I only give you 20 seconds rest between each set, you're not gonna get as much, but your body's gonna be like, WTF, what just happened, right? The next thing is sets. If we do four sets one week and the next week five and the next week six sets, that's overloading the organism. Now, it doesn't mean that it's absolutely correct all the time, but it is a factor. The next thing is we up the reps. So now instead of doing 225 for five reps, we do it for six the next week. So these are the ways that we think of magnitude. But you gotta remember too that magnitude can come in different ways and we're gonna get to that. But this is the number one thing that I think becomes one of the top four properties of increasing the ability or the organism for it to change. The next big thing is accommodation. Now this is a huge law of training that I follow, which is law of accommodation. Now this states that if you use the same stimulus or as we've learned magnitude too often, then what's gonna end up happening is the body's gonna recognize the stimulus and therefore the percentage of which it'll get better from that specific type of training will be less. So in accommodation, what we have to remember is that the reps, sets, movements, right, and angles, and resistance types, there are probably a few more than these as far as not going into too deeply. But if you think about it, if we use the same reps, sets, movements, angles, or resistance types, the body is going to get used to it, and therefore it's going to be a less and less of a powerful stimulus. I always look at it like reading a book. If I grab the same book, and I read it over and over and over again, the first time I learned probably the most I'm gonna learn from the book. Then the next time I'm gonna learn maybe 15, 20% more. And then as I keep reading the book, it gets less and less of a percentage of new knowledge that I obtain versus having 20 or 30 different books to obtain knowledge from. Now I have constant new stimulus coming in and therefore I'm getting smarter. Exercises go the same way and we have to make sure that we're using an exercise to its maximum potential but not overusing it so much that our body doesn't change and get better. So we've went over two of these major factors that we must consider. So next week, we're gonna show you the other two factors. That way you can stay glued to your chair, you can watch this, and you can make smarter decisions on your training.